Hi, I'm Jeff uh, with the band Goose, here with Ryan Storm as we move through stormy weather. Um, and uh, we're gonna look at some drums. All right, um, let's start over here. So we have three fiberglass congas here. Uh, these are all LPs. This one's actually a Galaxy, but these are LP Accent. And uh, I first found the Santana one and I thought it was just the coolest thing ever, so I was able to pick this up used at a Guitar Center, I think, in London. And then uh, when I saw this one, I had to have it because it looked cool. This is an Armando Peraza who played percussion with Carlos Santana for a period of time. Um, and I actually have a, have a third one coming that you, you guys will see soon. Um, I like these drums, these accent drums. They seem to be a little bit brighter, a little more lively, which I like uh, You know, in, in the band setting. These sound amazing, but I almost feel like the sound is too contained and sometimes I want some more, some more frequencies to cut through the band. Um, so that's that. Uh, you know, sorry, sorry, gang. I should have started over here with uh, you know the centerpiece. Centerpiece. Yep, this is it. This is a pasty gong. Uh, it's 28 inches. Uh, bought it used right before I joined the band. Um, thank you, Farmer Pete, Farmer Pete Campbell, for uh, for sponsoring the gang. Um, just got really lucky with this one. Uh, I love it. It's perfect for the band, in my opinion. Um, the, the, the right size, the right sound. Uh, and I tried to clean it up here, and as you can see, it's still very dirty. But it did brighten it up a little bit, and it actually brightened up the sound. Um, let me flip this over. We can see uh, Bad Larry Productions has been here. And uh, yeah, this is made in Germany, it says right here. And I think this is from the 60s. Uh, this is very similar, if not the same size and model as John Bonham's gong and uh, Nick Mason from Pink Floyd. Uh, many of you guys have seen the, the gif of Nick slamming the gong at Pompeii, so. Same one. Oh, and, and very important, these symbols that are wearing off now, I'm gonna have to repaint them. Um, they're the Thai Loy symbols. And uh, I looked it up and it actually means happiness has arrived. So that's very cool. Thank you. So every time I hit it, happiness is arriving. Um, yep, continuing uh, on the, the hand drum section, we have these. LP bongos, these are generation two. Uh, and these drums, these bongos are actually from 1987. So uh, they're from the same year I was born. Um, love the way they sound. I'll tune that down a little bit. Further. Uh, these are the, the bongos I used in the studio uh, for shenanigans and drip field and uh the pseudo record so love them um so most of my percussion stuff is lp latin percussion uh there are a couple things here this this tambourine is is a minor uh, as a symbol and this wood block is a pearl um I think almost everything else is LP. Um, we have a chime here that's not LP. We use that on um, 2021. You can hear that in there as well as the Pursuit record. Um, and this is a mini gong. I think I laugh every time I hit that. Um, here we have some shells, 
sometimes I like to use that texture for like a ballad or just a different vibe. And um, I believe Peter's mom just uh, brought these uh, these bells for Goosemas, and I really love like the ceremonial vibe. So definitely looking for more more shells and uh, and bells over here. Uh, my newest shaker, this uh, Index Drums. This is a, he takes old beer cans and stuff and makes shakers out of them. This is the one's called the Hoppy. And uh, I really dig this sound. Um, Clave's, our good friend Matt Perry, Eyes of the Wood, made for me. Uh, I get to use these sometimes and they're kind of the best sounding Clave's. So thank you, Matt. Uh, we got some brushes. I use Promark sticks and brushes. Uh, they're part of Theodario, who's been so gracious as to sponsor us. Uh, this is a Viber slap that is falling apart, but uh, you'll hear that sometimes. Uh, this is a Maraca LP that uh, when we played 48-48, we had backline, and they had a couple of these, and coach really dug the vibe and I dug the vibe so I got they're, they're amazing but they're, they're a little harder to play and it, they tend to cut so um, I kind of had to dial it back with these shakers and this one is a, it's actually a combination of a medium and a soft shaker that I shake together so Sounds like cornflakes. So, thanks, Index Drums. Uh, small, small company. Love supporting them. This is the fish. Uh, she's been repaired, but uh, love the fish. I think we've got that uh, in Trevor. Uh, I've got the chimes over here. This is a Tree Works. These are made in Nashville. Shout out Nashville. We'll be there this week. Um, this is a Tree 23 that I got used online. I think it's the best $90 I've ever spent. Uh, the, the top chime got stuck in my case and came off, but now it's got a nice lean and it fits better by the symbol. So, thank you. Uh, so I have three different kinds of symbols here, three different symbol brands. This is a K flat ride. Custom flat ride. I, I drilled it for six rivets. Uh, I've had this since before school, before college, so maybe 2008. And, uh, flat rides are really, really responsive, nice stick sound, but they, they're not very loud. That's kind of the kind of full volume. But Rich loves it, and uh, I really like the sizzle. This is a Minel Byzance medium crash. Bought this used online, and it's a uh, kind of sketch by used symbols online. But it has this little dent in the edge, and uh, kind of came that way. I don't know if it was messed up, but it, it's kind of had this really like trashy quality that I love. And as you can see, it's <laughs> very cracked and expanding, but. Love that symbol, it gives me everything I want. Uh, these are pretty new. Istanbul Agob signature hats. Uh, you know, kind of dark and crispy. Um, just played those for the first time with this band last night. So, thank you Istanbul, I'd love to work with them some more. Um, some blocks. This is an LP Mambo cowbell that Probably my oldest instrument. I've had this uh, since I started playing drums in 02, 03. Pretty rusty, lots of duct tape. But that's the one. Uh, this Pearl Wood Block's pretty new. Um, LP Jam Block Classic. This is a Cha Cha, or sorry, a Salsa. 
and this is a timbale cowbell. This is newer. I've had this cowbell and this one for a very long time. Uh, and this is one of my favorite things, drum set tambourine. Uh, it reacts when I step on the pedal, even though my hi-hat's closed. I keep it closed so we don't recognize hi-hat doesn't compete. So I just, that's all I can do with my left foot here, really. But love this drum set tambourine. You can play it with your hand, a stick, anything. So it's really nice accents and stuff. He's on Tom Bowling. Lots of stuff. Um, I think that wraps up the toy as well. I do have a Black Beauty cowbell down here I like to use with my hand to control the sound. Uh, so that's one. And this is a Kibasa. I use rarely, kind of similar to the fish, but a little bit more of a metallic sound. I may use it on the reggae stuff. Um, so here we are to the drums. Uh, sorry, this is an LP tambo stick I just used for the first time last night. Uh, messed it up pretty bad, and uh, the jingles actually fell out, so I need to glue these. So, just like that, actually. Um, uh, new drums. Uh, this is a uh, Gretsch Broadcaster. Um, I think it's a three-ply design. It's a throwback to their early drums that I think started in the 50s, maybe earlier. Uh, love this kit. It's 24-inch bass drum, 1316. It, uh, man, it just, it just sings. I think it sounds a thousand times better than those 70s slingolins that I was using. Um, very exciting. This is a Slingerland Steel Festival snare, though, that came with those Slingerlands, and uh, it's one of like the most sensitive snares I've ever heard. I was very excited when I bought it. Um, they say uh, snares take after the uh, the emotions of their owner. Very sensitive. Yeah. Extremely sensitive. Um, so. Sometimes I tune it up for like the brushwork stuff or to get like a timbale type sound. People keep asking me if I'm going to get a timbale set, but it's like, I have a whole drum set. What do I, what do I need timbales for? Um, timbale is right there. Um, sometimes I tune it up, sometimes I'll tune it lower to sort of sit under Ben's snare. Uh, and I like to throw this broken tambourine uh, on top to get that kind of sound. It chokes the drum and gives you a rattle. So. Uh, love that. Screen! Can you turn the pad on? I'm not getting it. And then this is the newest uh, member using it for the sounds. We used it for uh, drip field. All right, see, it says drip. It says 001. Uh, we use this for a metronome that only we can hear sometimes. Uh, and now Peter figured out how to tech it. So we have two different outputs, one for us and one for you all. And there's the drip track. I control that. Yep. Um. <laughs> and that's my new favorite thing. <laughs> We're trying it out over here. Uh, I'm trying it out on the bass drum. I don't know if it's gonna work. I feel like it's gonna fall off. But maybe we'll try to strap it down. Um, so Peter put some sounds on here. Not really sure why he put that on there. Then we also have a clap track. 
Sounds like an Udu drum or something. And then some like hip hop hi hat maybe. Last but not least, we have my rubber ducky, which is from the mouse trap uh, in 2019. And it says Indy loves you. So red kind of became my color. So we're gonna we're gonna keep going with this red and black thing. Thank you.